Okay, I asked you to do parts uh, four and six, so we'll do part four and then switch over to part six. So it says, Max and Lincoln are painting a fence. Max painted a third of it and Lincoln painted four ninths of it. How much of the fence did they paint all together? All right, so when you see all together, hopefully you're thinking addition, all right? So all together, they would have painted one third plus four ninths. All right, again, in order to add those, I need to find a common denominator. So what would that be? Hopefully you said nine. All right, this numerator we get to keep the same. This numerator, what does it become? Hopefully you said three, because three times three is nine, and one times three is three. Okay, so then four nights plus, oh, whoops, sorry, three nights and four nights, seven nights. All right, and then seven is a prime, so the only way this is gonna reduce is if seven goes into nine, but it does not. So how much did they paint all together? They painted seven nights of the fence. Almost done. They just have two more nights to do. Okay, the next question, how much more of the fence did Lincoln paint than Max? All right, so when you see how much more then, um, hopefully you're realizing that we need to find a difference between the two of them. So we're gonna take the larger one, which is the four ninths, and we're gonna subtract the smaller one, which is the one third. Now we already did all the work up here. We already know what the common denominators are. That's four ninths minus three ninths. Piece of cake. That gives us one ninth. Sorry, I didn't want to write in the blue there. So um, Lincoln painted one ninth more, one ninth of the fence more than max. Good? Okay, hopefully that was a yes. I couldn't hear you. All right, let's take a look at problem six. I picked four and six because I thought they were reasonable, but they didn't have common denominators. Four and uh, three and five, um, you don't have to find the common denominator. Sorry, I can't tell. I just sat down. Oh, there we go. Good. Uh, four and uh, three and five already have common denominators. I went, didn't want to give you the super easy ones. Uh, and then uh, eight is pretty hard. Seven, I just figured two word problems was enough, so we'll just go with six. But this does not have common denominators, so I thought that would be a good one to look at. All right, so it's talking about the distances between three towns. We've got town A, town B, and town C, and we know that the distance from town A to town B is 10 and a half miles, and then to get from B to C, it's another eight and three-fourths miles. It doesn't tell us that they're on the same line. It might be something like this, A, B, and C. And it tells us that this distance is 10 and a half miles. And then this one is eight and three quarter miles. All right, so it's asking us, what is the total distance from town A to town C if you have to go through town B? Now, if they didn't say that, this would be the fastest way to get there. But they're telling us that we have to stop at town B. It's probably because there's like a really good cupcake store or something there and we have to stop there. So we don't want to skip over it and go right to, from A to C. So what is the total distance? Again, hopefully when you see total distance, you're thinking I need to add those two up, All right? So we're going to do that. Uh, let's do that here. So it's 10 and a half uh, plus eight and three fourths. This is not quite that the best of planning on my part in terms of drawing this. It doesn't leave us a lot of room, but let's just do it really tiny here. Actually, how about you do that? We just did a whole bunch of those. I want you to pause the video for just a minute and add 10 and a half and eight and three fourths. Again, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna find a common denominator and then add, and then if the answer at the end needs to be reduced or it's an improper fraction in there, you'll have to fix that. All right, so come back when you're done and check to see uh, the answer. All right, so you should have gotten 10 and 2 fourths 
plus eight and three fourths. My goodness, this was really poor planning. Eight and three fourths. When we add those up, we get 18 and five fourths. All right, this is the part where I was telling you about the improper fraction. So let's ignore the 18 for just a second and focus only on the five fourths. So five fourths, if we were to change that to a mixed number, this would be the 18 that we already have plus five fourths is one and one fourth. And so when we add the whole number parts together, we get 19 and one fourth. So the answer is the total distance from town A to town C through town B is 19th and 1 fourth miles. Okay, part B. How much farther is it from town A to B than from town B to C? So it's asking um, what is the, the distance, what's the excess distance that we have to go from A to B compared to B, uh, B to C? So this one is gonna be subtraction because we're trying to find the difference between the two. How much farther is it? So we're gonna do 10 and a half minus eight and three fourths. And again, we've already done part of the work here. We've already found the common denominator. So let's write those in. So that's eight and three fourths minus, uh, oh, sorry, eight and three fourths is being subtracted from 10 and two fourths. All right, so pause the video here. I want you to do the, um, the rewriting this where you're gonna take the 10 and uh, take one away from it and give it to the two four. So pause for just a second and I want you to do that part of it and see what you get as your answer. When you're done, turn it back on and I will complete the problem. Okay, so when you do that, we're gonna give the one to this. I'm just gonna give it to it as four fourths. All right, so when we group these two together, the four fourths and the two fourths, we end up with nine and six fourths minus eight and three fourths. All right, three, uh, six fourths minus three fourths just gives us three fourths. And then nine minus eight is one. So it is one and three fourths miles further to get from A to B than it is to get from B to C. So one and three fourths miles longer from A to B. Okay, um, I hope that was helpful to you. Um, it would be really cool if you would just go back and do some of them that I did alone do them alone and see if you can get them on your own uh, because I really just want you to practice, practice, practice. You get really good at fractions by doing a ton of them. Okay, I will see you on Thursday. Bye.